Hey girls, welcome back to McStorytime with Miss McMahon. Girls, I have a question for you. Have you ever wanted to give somebody a really special surprise? Something really special, either give them something or make them something, like make something for your mommy or daddy or a brother or sister, something really special, but you didn't want to give it to them until it was totally ready, okay? Maybe you were making something and you didn't want to give it to them until you were done with it, right? So you, because you wanted to be a surprise. And so you can't tell them, so you kind of have to keep it a little bit of a secret until it's ready to be given to your special um, family member or friend. Well, today I have a great story about a little polar bear and his name is Snowy. And he wants to give a surprise, or actually make a surprise for his mommy, but he can't tell her what it is until it's ready. He kinda has to keep it a secret from his mommy until it's ready. So he has to do some things to keep it a secret, and we're gonna find out what he does to keep his surprise a secret until it's ready to show, until he is ready to show his mommy. And the name of the story is called Snowy's Special Secret. And if I back up a little bit, you'll notice that I have a picture of a mama polar bear and a baby polar bear, just like Snowy in this story and the mama bear in this story. Isn't that cute? The little baby polar bear is growling on mama's back. Isn't that adorable? Well, we're gonna find out what Snowy does to keep his secret until his special surprise is ready for his mama in Snowy's Special Secret. Now, the author of this story has a really fancy name. It's, his name is Guido von Jinchen. It's kind of an interesting name, a little uh, difficult to pronounce, but very nice all the same. Let's find out what happens in our story. Snowy loved his mommy more than anything in the whole world, and he wondered how he could show her, right? You love your mommies and daddies, and sometimes we like to do things to show them how much we love them. Maybe make something or give something to them. So, Snowy, what is Snowy gonna do? One day, Snowy thought of a terrific surprise for her, but it was hard to keep a secret from mommy. She always took Snowy on her daily trip to the fishing hole, so he had to make up excuses to go off on his own every once in a while to work on the surprise. <laughs> Look, here they are fishing. Eh, he might have to, have to do some other things to make his surprise. He said, I dropped my toy. I better go back and get it, Snowy said as Mommy was reeling in a fish. Okay, but don't be too gone too long, Mommy said. So Snowy ran off as fast as he could to work on his special secret, his special surprise, right? Mm hmm And when he came back to the fishing hole, Mommy was packing up to walk back home. She said to him, well, that took you a very long time. I, uh, um, oh, my toy got stuck in the snow, Snowy told her. Uh-oh, he's making up some excuses of why he was late, because he was I'm going out to play, Snowy said, as soon as they got home that afternoon. Okay, said Mommy, but come back as soon as you hear me call you for dinner. Snowy ran off again as fast as he could. Off to make the surprise. Ooh, I wonder what it is. It's going to be good, I know. When Mommy called Snowy in for dinner, he arrived ah, ah, out of breath and completely covered in snow. I fell down the hill, Snowy said, and, and he smiled as sweetly as he could. I don't know. Do you think he really fell down the hill? Hmm, maybe. After dinner, Snowy slipped out again, and he needed just a little more time before he could share his secret with Mommy. Mm -hmm. What is the secret? It's going to be a good surprise. Finally, the surprise was complete. Oh, the surprise was ready. Snowy ran back home to get Mommy. Mommy, 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 he called. Come out 
and look, I have something special to show you. Oh, isn't it exciting when you have something special? It's the special surprises that are ready to give somebody. It's very exciting. Oh, I wonder what it is. What do you think the surprise is? I don't know either. Ah, mommy's mouth. Look what it is. Mommy's mouth dropped open when she saw the surprise. She had never seen anything so beautiful and so special. Look what Snowy did. He made a snow bear of his mommy and a snow bear of himself. Oh, what a wonderful surprise. No wonder it took him so long. He had to make it, right? And she loved it. Very special. Look, Mommy, it's us, Snowy said proudly, and Mommy gave Snowy a very big hug. Very nice. Snowy was happy that he had surprised Mommy, and Mommy was happy with her surprise. I love you, Mommy, said Snowy. <clears throat> I love you, Mommy and Snowy said to each other and they watched the stars until they fell sound asleep. Oh, what a wonderful surprise. And there he is, dancing around in the snow. That was a wonderful surprise that Snowy gave his mommy, wasn't it? Maybe you can go home, maybe you can think of something uh, at home to make something a surprise for your mommy or daddy or brother or sister or somebody in your family or a friend, maybe you can think of a surprise that you can give someone special. I bet you can. All right, girls. Well, thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.